Hi, I'm Maddie. Have you ever considered why birds sing in the morning? The dawn chorus may be the soundtrack to spring, but it's not all sweet charms and harmonies. It's more like a fiercely contested battle of the bands. Birds sing for two reasons. One, to attract a mate, and two, to ward off competition. And there are loads of reasons why birds sing most in the early hours. Firstly, singing in the morning is a good time to proclaim their territory. It tells their neighbours that they've survived the night and are ready to fight another day. Many birds also migrate under the cover of darkness, so it's really important to establish territorial boundaries first thing in the morning before new arrivals come along and pinch any precious ground. Amazingly, many species actually recognise their neighbour's voice so they know they're not a threat. However, as soon as a new voice is heard, they'll try to outsing the intruder. But the actual air conditions in the morning are thought to be optimal for broadcasting their songs. The cold, dense morning air stops the sound from refracting into the sky, helping it propagate further along the ground than it would do during the warmer daytime. And at this time, there is less interference from sirens, mobile phones, traffic, and general background clutter of the airwaves. But there is another theory for singing at dawn, and surprise, surprise, it's about sex. Most females lay their eggs in the morning, and once they've popped, they're at their most fertile. Seemingly desperate for their next egg to be fertilised, they will mate with any male, not just their partner. So by getting up early and singing his heart out, the male will try and grab as much attention as possible. But being noticed isn't always a good thing. Singing at the top of your voice is a great way of alerting predators. It's like a dinner bell. You come and get me! It's dinner time! So by singing in the morning when the light levels are low, the songsters remain relatively hidden, reducing their chance of being eaten. And finding breakfast for themselves is another factor which drives the dawn chorus. In fact, it determines the playlist. Worm eaters tend to sing first. They have larger eyes which are able to see earlier in the low light conditions, and they feed on worms which tend to be closer to the surface earlier in the day. Next on stage are the insect eaters. They have slightly smaller eyes and are up and about to catch the bugs as they warm up in the morning light. Finally, the crescendo is left to the seed eaters. It's thought that these guys need more light to perform fiddly tasks like extracting seeds. Or maybe they just like to have a lion. Don't forget to subscribe and keep your animal questions coming in. it's thought that many different bird species show traits that we would associate with humans. First up, the ability to count. Cormorants in China are thought to be able to count to seven as their owners let them eat every eighth fish they catch. It's said that they won't do any more work until they're allowed to eat that fish. Second, language. Alex was an African grey parrot who shot to fame briefly for his communication skills. Alex had a vocabulary of over a hundred words and could recognise 50 objects, seven colours, five shapes and was even thought to understand the concept of zero.